secret missions to save a bunch of sick P320 Gambit holsters with the Olipop prebiotic soda, disguised as a distraction canister, isn't fulfilling when you realize that you just had your 8 mile moment and your one shot missed the target by 30 feet. But at least you have enough space in your inventory box to create muscle memory with the new SIG P320 Gambit holster setup, or this business task would be a failure, because no one in their right mind will leave behind a level 2 pistol kit, some green herbs, and a couple of IWA distraction devices in a save room, but I mean hey, we're here aren't we? Besides, the goal is to never erase previous years of chemistry with other formats, rather to expand the mental catalog by building newer foundations. If you're a fan of the P320 video we released some years ago, then you know that grip modules matter. We wanted to build off our initial thoughts on a P320's platform and go more in depth and talk about some reasons why the modules have the potential to become the AR-15 of the pistol world and how this can benefit new shooters if budget plays a role in your everyday life. Combine this with how there's been a drastic change in recent years with how we see pistols and their potential. Product development has skyrocketed with more and more companies making quality interchangeable parts for handguns, more specifically the SIG P320. And like any other company in hopes to provide services to the user, they didn't just randomly pick a pistol that has the popularity of a new TikTok dance. Well, kind of, but Six Hour knew what they were doing when they invented their popular model. I mean, when you could swap out the trigger system like an engine in Gran Turismo and plug in any grip module to accommodate the operator, then I guess it makes sense why it reminds people of the particular gas-operated AR-15 platform. The similarities become relevant when the priorities revolve around one piece, in this instance, the AR lower. Because it's considered the firearm of the unit, it's also the base that causes the connection between the lower and upper to fully operate. And because the AR-15 has been out for several years now, more parts are becoming available to the user and have now created muscle memory in the tactical realm. The same goes for the SIG B320, with the firearm being its trigger system. The rest of the pieces are now free to be accessorized in a unique way to benefit the user in all aspects. Because of this, availability now plays a big role with the advantage of adding key components which makes the construction a modular layout. With the new shiny toy of the tactical era being to decorate your pistol like a photo shoot for a front page cover on Maxim magazine, SIG's internal system is why comps and gas pedal levers are now marketed like a 20 second Doritos commercial at a Super Bowl halftime show. But this also supports those seeking financial gain from a budget point of view. Not only can you build a performance race car, but you can also shape the aesthetics all without having to change from pistol to pistol. This is a plus for new shooters who are just now getting their feet wet. It keeps you invested in one system, so the focus is strictly learning its operations and you get to save a few bucks as well. How? Well, because the grip module is considered an accessory, the tactical market values it as such with most of the modules averaging from a sub $200 price range. It gives you plenty of meat on the bone to grab a few to accommodate a 7 day week period. Tailored for personal preference, you'll be getting extreme value from a basic P320 right out the box. And from a competitor's perspective, the numbers become a bit intriguing when comparing it to the standard of the handgun world, aka the Glock 17. Looking past the metrics chart, the apples and oranges theory doesn't seem fair when you realize that SIG's 4.7 inch barrel length brings more to the table as compared to the Glock 17's 4.5 inch barrel. The argument can become subjective if you're a Glock guy and 0.2 inches only matters in bed and your yearly schedule consists of boasting to your friends about how sexy of a brick you have, but never take weekly trips to the range to actually test out that stock anvil of a trigger it possesses. But if we're talking duty standard, then we all know that 0.2 inches is life and death when you're within 15 yards of an intruder. And coming from a Glock guy, it doesn't make life any better if your stock trigger system has more crunch than a bag of Funyuns. The debate gets worse if we're comparing modular systems, but I mean, you've been hearing me rant for the past couple of minutes and that alone should do it justice. Aside from biased opinions, it's common nowadays to hear that most law enforcement agencies are switching from G17s to the P320 because of affordability and compatibility. And I guess that explains why there's been a resurgence lately. But the big value in the tactical niche is that it's created opportunities for businesses like us to offer essentials to the operator to put the use right now. Given that we manufacture holsters, the P320's unique capability played an important role constructing a Gambit layout because the modularity behind its design brings a lot to the table. We kept this in mind when constructing a Gambit P320 holster model to accommodate any necessary upgrades the user may have. How does this help the new shooter? Well, when forming the Gambit OWB holster, we knew that eventually experience will play a role when out doing training, everyday carrying, and even duty work. So we put ourselves in a user's shoes and we built the layout to provide additional real estate to accommodate upgrades the user may want. 
Nowadays, threaded barrels are becoming the norm because sometimes our duty pistols are also a part of our nightstand setup as well. New shooters will understand this if budget plays a role and one pistol is the only route. So we flared out the exit side of the gambit holster to provide a threaded barrel option. Grip modules are also an important factor when it comes to the P320's design because you can technically rotate them like a pair of boxer briefs. Because the popularity has grown so much, most mom and pop companies are producing their own signature grip module series. And if it accommodates the standard P320 design, then it accommodates our gamut holster model as well. Suppressor height sights are a priority if you're running a threaded barrel. But then again, the hype job nowadays is to run fully kitted out AR-15s and you can forget about throwing on the backup sights. If you're a fan of trends, then you might see a few IG guys with no sights on a P320 pistols. Whether or not this influences you, our Gambit holster still gives you the flexibility for suppressor height sights. Mag release and optic cutouts are a priority at the Thank Through Tech headquarters. Regardless if you're getting the upgrade or not, all of our Gambit holsters come ready with the available space for future upgrades. Our flared entry design gives personal preferences like a gas pedal takedown lever, the extra elbow room your pistol desires. Overall, tailoring the Gambit layout to keep up with modern technology is the goal so that we're consistently bringing value to the user. In today's market, budget plays a role when operating, ammo and gear being the focal point. Since the Gambit holster launch, we've always kept the customer in mind when it comes to gaining the best bang for your buck at an entry level cost. Oh, and that word universal gets thrown around here at the shop often. It's because we mean when we say our holsters fit all models. For an example, if you're running a SIG P320 carry setup, the good news is that it'll fit all standard P320 models. The same goes for the Spectre Comp and the X5 series models as well. As of now, if you're currently watching this video, the Gambit SIG P320 holster is officially live on the website. For more information and pricing on our Gambit outside the waistband holsters, I'll leave some links down in the description. When it comes to the new shooter and the introduction to the firearm world, with there being so many handgun options and caliber choices, it can get overwhelming trying to find the right pistol suitable for your personal preference. This is why videos like this will be a priority going forward. To break down the value behind each pistol and how some tools applied to its mechanics can contribute in today's society, with crime rates consistently climbing in record numbers, it's also our job to bring awareness to the user with useful gear to equip right now, and with a reliable track record from a reputable company that has a background of putting the user first, aka a sub $600 pistol, the SIG P320 makes sense for new shooters. With its main attribute being to adapt to the user, with a plethora of aftermarket parts, there's a reason why many companies are jumping on the bandwagon to supply Sig Sauer's popular pistol. If you are a new shooter and your goal is to invest in one tool without having to spend an arm and a leg on multiple firearms while gaining the qualities of an AR-15, then a Sig P320 is the answer. Hopefully this video serves those well that are new to the gun community and are having some troubles trying to find your first handgun. If you are in fact a Sig P320 owner, Drop a comment in the comment section and leave one reason why the P320 would be a viable option to own as your first handgun. This will help new shooters gain viable information from others who share similar experiences. If there's also any other popular pistols that you think would be of service to the Think Through Tech channel, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comment section as well. As of now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. To watch more content like this in the future, click the subscribe button. To get instant updates for the latest PPU content, click the bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.